In this video, I'm going to show you how to run shaders with your CurseForge mod packs. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up CurseForge and then locate the mod pack you are trying to run shaders on. So for this video, we're going to be playing the Pixelmall mod pack using shaders. So all you want to do is go ahead and select on the mod pack. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and figure out what version of Minecraft this mod pack will run on. So as you're able to tell over here, this mod pack will run on Minecraft 1.16.5. So that means we need to get shaders for Minecraft 1.16.5 and we also need to get Optifine. Luckily getting either of those is incredibly easy so all you want to do is open up any web browser. I am using Google for this video and you just want to look up Optifine download. Then from here go ahead and select on the first link that appears it should be from Optifine.net and then go ahead and select over here where it says downloads and press on show all versions and all you need to do is select the version of Optifine that your mod pack is in. So our mod pack was in minecraft 1.16.5 so we got to go ahead and locate it and yep here it is so all you want to do is just press on download and then you just want to go ahead and wait around five seconds press on the skip button towards the top and then bam we have it right over here just press on download once more and as you're able to tell it is now on our desktop Okay, now for clarity purposes, I'm going to be dragging out my Optifine installation to my desktop and I highly suggest you do the same thing because it will just make things a whole lot easier and once again, you can also find it in your downloads history or you can open up your files app and find it from there. Okay guys, now the next thing we need to do is we need to actually download some shaders to go with this Optifine. So in order to do that, all you want to do is go to the curseforge.com website and go ahead and install whatever shaders you would like to download. So for this video, we're going to be downloading the complementary shaders, but obviously you can go ahead and include any shader that you like that is compatible with your version. Okay, now here's where you need to be very careful. You need to make sure you download the correct version of your shaders. So for this right over here, I need to go ahead and make sure that I download the complementary shaders for Minecraft 1.16.5. Okay, so I was eventually able to find the complementary shaders for Minecraft 1.16.5. So all you want to do is click on the three dots right over here and then press on download file and just wait a little bit and then bam, it will start beginning to download your shaders. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag it out to my desktop once again. Okay, now that we got our two files we are on the right track so all you want to do is open up the curseforge application again okay one two over here you want to go ahead and press on the three dots over here and then all you want to do is select on the option that says open folder then if we do this a bunch of folders will appear and all you want to do is locate the mods folder which should be right over here just go ahead and press on that and as you're able to tell we already have a bunch of mods so leave those alone those are perfectly fine but all you want to do is you want to drag in the optifine mod inside of the mods folder so let's go ahead and do that real quick and then bam we are good to go you can go ahead and exit this out open up the curse forge launcher again and then go ahead and just press on play Okay, once we're over here, the next thing you want to do is you want to go over here to where it says installations. Obviously, you want to make sure you are logged into your Microsoft account and that you have Minecraft Java Edition selected. Okay, now that you're over here, you should see that the Pixmall mod pack will appear. If you don't see it, you can go ahead and turn on this option that says mod it and then go ahead and just manually look it up here. But if you already have it here, you are good to go. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and go to the right side and then select on the folder icon right over here. Then it will bring us a folder that looks like this. The next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up the folder called shader packs to just open it up real quick. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and drag in your shaders inside of this folder like so. Then you can go ahead and close it out. Open up the Minecraft launcher once more. Go ahead and press on play. Then bam, make sure that the Pixelmall mod pack or whatever mod pack you're playing is selected. And then go ahead and press on play. Okay guys, now we are here loaded into the Pixelmall mod and all you want to do is open up a world and let's go ahead and test this baby out. Alright guys, so now I am loaded into a world with this mod pack. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your settings, go ahead and select on options, press on video settings, press on shaders and yep, you will notice that our complementary shaders that we did install earlier in the video is there. So all you want to do is go ahead and select on it. Alright guys, and now it will show that your shader is selected. So go ahead and just press on done, press on done again and then back to game and as you're able to tell, we do have Pixelmom with shaders. This is like the coolest thing ever. It is honestly such a total vibe. And at any point in time, you can go ahead and just remove your shaders. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 300,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.